Hello, Comanche Native here, and today we're taking a look at the different builds built in the Tomorrow's Children. Each building is built by different gamers. So if you recognize a building that you know who did it, please put it in the comment or let me know. That would be most appreciated. Now, this one almost looks like a miniature robot. I did come across Ultimus Prime, Godzilla destroyed it, and I was unable to get it on film, which was very disappointing. So I'm going to go ahead and cue the music and the music that's coming up is called A Beautiful Day. It is on the Share Factory program on the PlayStation 4. Anyway, please enjoy. Wow, this is a extreme build. Now when I was inside there, for just a brief minute, I started thinking, wow, this is almost like when Neo met the architect in The Matrix, with all the televisions inside. The cool thing about this is that it's colored. Um, they did use some void powers up to the top, but I'm not going to go up there. Last time I saw something interesting and I got on my jetpack and I went up to the very top and then I hit the outer atmosphere and then I died instantly. So I'm not going to go way up there where I see void powers being used and stuff but this is so cool looking. I like the fact that they colored it and then I start to think of all the work 
that has to be done. You have to empty all your pockets to build all the bricks. And then you have to use your void powers to get up to the very top and then start to place them. Sometimes when you throw them, the bricks will stick to each other and then sometimes they won't so they will fall down to the ground then you have to go down and retrieve them. And then after you're done doing that, you're going to go and, and put all the kind of paint inside your pocket so you can paint all of this. See, doesn't that almost, well, the power is out now, but when it was on, it did look like the Matrix. Now, each one of these bricks, or squares, they have plus three technology included when you have them in your town. If you build them in town, down at the bottom, they sometimes get smashed or attacked by the monsters that come into your, your town. Now, I did run across other towns that had fortifications like um, a castle, castle walls, but I'm only interested in builds right now. If I do run across that town again, I will feature it. I, I think they were trying to go with a castle type of theme. Exactly what this is, I have no idea. I mean, it's very abstract. It reminds me of some kind of fruit, maybe um, a berry. I don't know, but I think this is so cool that they went to this extreme to put that there. It, it either is a team or just one individual. I don't know, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and check the workbench and let's see exactly how many squares are being used. Let's see what category would that be in. Um, Features, fixtures, I mean, okay, wait, oh, there it is, 469 brick units are being used for that one build right there, cool, well, this is Comanche Native, and I thank you for watching, if I come across any more builds, I will showcase them, and I will see you next time.